not that it matters for this one, but I can definitely feel uh, a step there. the channel 60 thou deep but I can't feel I can't feel any kind of but there's definitely nothing there to catch a finger on I can't even see uh, a rim a ridge yeah I'm pretty pleased with that well I almost thought about not documenting this just because you know it uh, it's hard to stay up on all the the videos and stuff like that so so this had uh, a block of aluminum here half by half square with the two holes drilled in and same down here and they went under the motor mount feet okay the motor mount rather uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get to them in there and and the holes were big and sloppy this is a six millimeter and, and those were probably close to 14 millimeter holes so they uh, any of the adjustment of the motor was just simply the slop that it would slide around. So I thought, well, you know, I want to make a better motor mount for the motor I'm putting on. And I want a little bit more adjustability. So what I did was I took a piece of scrap plate, put the four slots in it. You can feel that bump there. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't think I had it seated in the in the vice quite right. So then I made this uh, channel underneath here. You can tell it's scrap. Uh, I made the channel under here because it's a casting down here and it was it was rocking okay it was hitting and so then rather than having to flat all, flatten all this out I put a channel in and then I only had to come back with the file and knock this down a little bit and and now there's no rocking it, it's perfect now so I'm not positive hopefully I got all the holes uh, lined up right I know the uh, I know the one back. These two work obviously because uh, they're a slot. I don't know if uh, the the person before me uh, just simply you know drilled four holes or if they came manufactured like that. Okay, that's back. It goes back and hits the uh, glass scale. Yeah, this little thing has glass scales on it for some reason. Well, so then the, the, the motor has a, a metal bracket on it I'm working on, and I'm going to put, there'll be four holes drilled and tapped in here. That's why I didn't want to go any thinner on the channel, deeper on the channel. Um, and then that way the slots will be in the metal piece, in the steel piece rather, and I can slide the motor up and down a little bit. I'm hoping to have the motor on a, maybe some kind of swing or spring or something like that to... For, for tensioning other than just simply static tensioning but we'll see how it comes out it's kind of a figure it out as you go
there's the aluminum plate that mounts to the uh, the lathe itself, and this bracket is uh, one that came with the motor. Okay, and there's a, there's a hole right here and a hole over here that I can put it on and have a pivot. Okay, so I've cut it down from what it was. Uh, I am going to oversize these just slightly so that I can give the motor a tiny twist for tracking on the belt. Okay, uh, but since I'm going to have the pivot for tension, I didn't have to worry about putting slots in it to make it slide up and down. So I'll have my in and out, I'll have my tension with the rotation, and then I'll have some tracking ability. Okay, well this is, this is where I'm at so far tonight. Uh, as you can see, there is a little slop there for being able to tilt. I don't really want a whole lot. Uh, and I think one of the, uh, the added bonuses is, is if I do need to pull the motor, then I can just pull the bolt. Obviously, it'll hang down further, and I'll cut this excess metal off under here. Uh, one other thing I think I'm going to do, too, is I think I'm going to tack the nut, weld it, tack weld it, to the mount. Uh, so that then that way I don't have to try to get a wrench back here and hold it. I can just simply get on it with a, with a wrench or a socket from this side and take it out and pull the motor and be good to go. Well, it's a little tight back here, but uh, I've got my left to right, I've got my twist. Um, might need to cut this uh, flange off the motor there but and I'm definitely gonna have to cut the the mount down there so it goes down further but let's uh, let's see if we're in the ballpark here yeah that's right where I marked it because uh, that's the way it was okay so I can't really do too much else, but I like that. Once I cut the, the metal away, that'll let it drop down further with more weight. And then I think maybe what I'll do is, uh, God, you know, for the lack of a better thing, I may just hook a bungee cord or something. or uh, I'll, 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 figure, I'll figure out something. I'd, I'd like to have something that wasn't spring-loaded, but at the same time, spring-loaded might be kind of nice because then it might bounce and uh, not strip my damn belts. I'm not sure the motor's heavy enough to just sit there and hold enough tension on the belt. But Anyway, that's it for now.